Hey, I'm Dr. Ozzy with the Functional Medicine Wellness Center. Uh, welcome. We're going to talk today about cross crawl. So when we're babies, we're meant to cross crawl. It actually kind of maps the brain out for learning uh, later on. A lot of times when we don't do that, we're going to have learning disabilities, things like ADD, ADHD. We might even get into some dyslexia. We start flip flopping uh, numbers and words and all that, and it comes back to not actually cross crawling correctly. And so grandparents, especially and parents. Don't worry, your kids are gonna walk, your grandkids are gonna walk, let them crawl. So a lot of times we see them, you know, trying to make them walk before they're ready or, ready or strollers where we get them standing up and they're just not ready for that. Let them cross crawl. We wanna make sure heads turning one way to the other completely. So a lot of times babies that have torticollis or again, they have a little stick neck, they got a when they're birthing, they kinda of have a little bit of trauma, right? So that doesn't move correctly. So we wanna make sure that they're doing that. And if they can't, we want to actually have mom or dad working on making sure they're helping them do that. If you're an adult, you come in later in life, a lot of times we'll see that stuff that's still not there, still not patterned. It's actually leading into some of their adults, ADD, ADHD, and or we're looking back at the nervous system and we're looking at structure and hey, I have a hip pain, back pain, because we've tightened everything up from that information going to the brain, going back to the paraspinal musculature and tightening everything up. So doing cross crawl exercises that we will teach you in the office for you if it's necessary, we'll send you home with them, but we'll go through basically, we need to change that. We really didn't map that out when you're a kiddo. And a lot of times we'll ask and say, yeah, my parents said, man, I just went to run in a gun and I just went straight to climb up and started walking. Or yes, I did have a stiff neck or tortic calls or whatever. And so that mapping of the nervous system just didn't happen. And we don't want, you know, again, I'm kind of a homolateral type of gait where we're just not moving. We'll see adults a lot now where we'll, we'll just be on, the uh, bike and we're keeping our hands still and moving our feet and again sometimes that can create a negative pattern into the nervous system so we want to make sure those arms are moving whenever whatever we're doing uh, again so we got that cross crawl motion which is most natural to the human body so stay tuned we're gonna again look at uh, how we actually do that um, and I want you to watch that video so I'm Dr. Ozzy with the Functional Medicine and Wellness Center I hope to see you in soon